What coaching is not? Well, what coaching is, is not therapy, <laughs> okay? Nothing wrong with therapy. Uh, therapy often uh, is something that someone needs or someone needs in a group setting. It often deals with psychological issues. Uh, it, it often is concerned with healing, uh, looking at your past to help diagnose why you're doing something in your present. It takes a specific skill set. Now, do therapists employ coaching skills? Absolutely, they do. They listen, they ask questions, and they employ those kinds of coaching competencies. But coaching is not therapy. And we also know that coaching is not managing. Uh, do managers employ coaching skills? Absolutely, they do if they're a good manager or if they're, if they're growing in their professional development as a manager, they certainly are going to employ coaching skills, but coaching is not managing. Managing is uh, overseeing what someone or some people are doing in order to achieve a particular outcome, and usually that's some kind of a business outcome, and so it's a results-driven kind of an outcome. So coaching is not managing. A coaching is not training. Again, nothing wrong with therapy, nothing wrong with managing, and nothing wrong with training, but coaching is not training. The training is equipping somebody uh, with a certain skill set to be able to do uh, a certain job or meet some a certain expectation or criteria. So coaching is not training. Coaching is also not mentoring. The uh, the most common thing I run into across the United States when we talk about coaching, and uh, I also am a coach trainer for, for coaches who are, who are training to be coaches, and so I act as a coach mentor. And often what we find is most people get coaching and mentoring mixed up. They think it's the same thing. A mentor pours in. A coach draws out or pulls out. Uh, a mentor is someone who utilizes their own experience, their own expertise, their own level of education on the behalf of someone else. Uh, they tend to give you something they have that you may not have. Or they model something you need. Uh, but coaching is someone coming alongside of you and helping you leverage your experience leverage your own expertise level, your own level of education on your own behalf. So this is the, uh, the most common misunderstanding about coaching is that coaching and mentoring are the same thing. One pours in, one pulls out. And then coaching is also not consulting. Nothing wrong with consulting. A lot of us act as consultants in our roles. But coaching is not consulting. Consulting is someone delivering from a, from a specific skill set something that an individual or a group needs. Uh, and so it's a level of expertise that is being utilized and leveraged. And so coaching is also not a restricted practice. Uh, we do uh, see a, a, a really high percentage today of folks moving uh, from many professional roles to what we call a coaching role, and coaching can be a practice. And there are a few of you who probably are life coaches in here, and that, that may be one of your practices. Or you may be in a practice as a, as a coach in some way. But coaching really is not restricted to a practice. Coaching is a skill set that we pick up and that we integrate into every role that we have, a family role, our work role, our organizational role, uh, even, or even just connecting with people at the store, coaching is much more, uh, becomes much more about who you are than necessarily what you do. And what you do actually begins to flow from who you are as you begin to integrate this thing we call coaching into the different roles and the different parts of your life. That's what we mean when we say creating a coaching culture personally, professionally, and organizationally. So that's what uh, coaching is not. So what is coaching? Well, coaching is a delivery system. 
That's what coaching is. Yeah, we talked about that on the growth map, on the growth path that we looked at. That coaching is a delivery system. In other words, it facilitates a process moving from doing to thinking. And a lot of good things come when we think. Uh, my wife and I were in residential setting working with kids and families in crisis for about six years. A long time ago, or early on in our marriage, uh, we've been married about uh, 75 years now, and actually 33. She's here somewhere, but about 33 years. And uh, uh, we, we used to work in a residential setting when behavior modification was big. Some of you remember that. And behavior modification, we believe that uh, behavior could, uh, could influence and shape belief. And so you remember those days, some of, some of you do, when behavior modification was big. And you don't hear much about behavior modification much these days, and you know why? Because what we found out was that behavior doesn't shape belief. Belief shapes behavior. And so if you want to shape behavior in your life and influence behavior in the lives of others, then you attack belief. You help people think. You, you create self-awareness that creates social and spiritual awareness for people. And so what coaching is, is that it is a delivery system. It facilitates a process that happens in your life or in the life of a group or in the life of an organization that moves them from doing to thinking that creates and results in some form of either personal, professional, or organizational growth. It's also a skill set. There are some certain competencies that you need and uh, when we, in the last session, talk about how do you create a coaching culture, we will identify and begin to talk about what some of those, those uh, coaching skills look like. What are those coaching competencies? And you've already named a few that are basic, like listening, uh, asking important questions, uh, giving your full attention, those kinds of, of basic competencies that we need to create a coaching culture in our life, personally, professionally, and organizationally. So uh, we will address that a little bit later. Relationship. Coaching is about a relationship. It's not about a program. It's not about a, uh, e even a process as much as it is a process you work through. It really is about connecting with another human being at a level that creates trust, care, and help. And here's the thing. You and I will either build relationships, break relationships, or burn relationships based on three questions that we all ask ourselves about other people. We call them the three unspoken questions. Can I trust you? Do you care? And can you help? Those are the three unspoken questions we're constantly asking. We may not necessarily ask them in that order. We may not even ask them in that way. But we are constantly in our relationships with each other. From intimate relationships to casual friendships, we are constantly asking about trust, care, and help. And creating a coaching culture personally, professionally, and organizationally means that we learn not to invade, but to build up trust, care, and help. Can I trust you? Aren't you asking that question, but not asking that question to people? Aren't you asking that question about people to yourself? Can I trust you? Aren't you asking the question about people to yourself, maybe not to them? Do you care? Aren't you asking the question, can you help? And so, coaching is a relationship based on trust, care, and help. Now, how do you coach somebody? How do you, how do you uh, connect with somebody when you barely know them in trust, care, and help? Well, there are different levels of trust, care, and help, depending and reflected upon the kind of intimate relationship all the way to that casual kind of a relationship that you have with people. And it's also a model. Coaching is certainly a model. And we'll talk a little bit more later about that. But coaching is a model of connecting with people and helping them get from where they are uh, to where they need to be. So that's what coaching is. 
Here's some definitions of coaching. Here's the International Coach Federation. Uh, you have that definition there in your workbook. I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. It's an awesome definition, but it definitely is a definition based on coaching being a practice. It uses the word client. So it, it tends to be with the uh, ICF, which is one of the premier, if not the premier uh, coaching kind of uh, company in the world. The ICF is the most credible and recognized. And even their definition, as good as it is, really, really talks about how coaching is more of a formal process. What we're saying at the Ask event is that coaching is not just a formal process, it's an informal process too. It's something that we integrate into our lives when we learn these competencies and we utilize these skills as we integrate them in every area of our life. It's about who we are more than it is about what we do. Here's another definition. You have that too in your workbook. The, uh, the ICA, they're a very recognized coaching organization. And uh, then here's a UK-based company, the OCM Group, and uh, they talk about what coaching is. All three of these are good definitions. In fact, you could probably Google, you know, definition of coaching, and you would get literally thousands, thousands of uh, coaching organizations, companies, uh, private practices, and they all would have some form of, uh, of a definition of coaching. Here's what we say coaching is at LeapFrog Promotions and Business Solutions. It's a relational process that helps individuals or groups move from where they are to where they need to be, resulting in personal, professional, or organizational growth. So as you think about the umbrella term, growth path, addressing growth, how am I going to address growth personally? How am I going to address growth professionally? How am I going to address growth organizationally? Well, coaching and creating a coaching culture in your life, in your role, and in your organization is one of the ways to address that kind of growth need. And so that's our definition.